spent, I'm uh, sorry about the generator noise, I hope it's not too loud. I've just spent some time uh, measured out and I've got all my panel installation um, numbers here figured out. So I went up on the roof and marked it out for the positioning and then anywhere where the brackets are where I'm going to be using the 3M tape, I've marked those out so now I can go up there and sand and clean and prep those areas and get them ready for sticking down the panels. So getting really close, I just want to make sure this all comes out perfect. These are going to be pretty large arrays here once I get them up. You're talking 80 and a quarter inches wide across the truck and then each one is 58.75 inches long, so 59 inches roughly. So this is the front of the truck up here. First three panels, then there's gonna be a four inch gap just to leave room for working room for the brackets. And then another three panels here. And then actually my fan is gonna be right out here at the back of the truck. I have like 33 inches left over from the end of this panel to the back of the truck. So the fan needs 14 inches, so there's plenty of room for the fan. So I'll crawl up here and give you guys a look. So here's my marks I've started on. This is where the actual brackets are gonna go where I'm gonna get up here and sand. So that's the, that's the end of the last three panels. So you can see the amount of room that's left in the back for the fan to go. And plenty of room for an air conditioning unit too if I ever want to put one up here. So there's the re only remaining star of life on the truck. So I'm gonna get back up here with some sandpaper. And get this sanded. Hi, friends. So we have three of the six panels installed. We got these up here yesterday afternoon late. So right now I've got the other three panels laid out. I'm getting them bracketed and attached together and then we're gonna hoist them up here. I've just gotta clean up a few more spots. So you know, I did these um, spots for the VHB tape to stick to. So, I... so to use the VHB, the very high bond tape, you need to have a good surface for it to stick to. So in the areas where it was gonna be placed, I scuffed the surface with sandpaper and then wiped it with isopropyl alcohol to give it a nice clean bonding surface. It turned out that the roof of the truck was not perfectly flat. It actually had a little bit of a bow, a rise down the center. So for some locations where the bracket wasn't making perfect contact, I did use some screws. So I used a combination of screws and the VHB tape. Then the final step was to again clean with alcohol and then apply this permabond tape using a roller and this gives it some extra UV and weather protection. And here's the finished installation, all six panels all attached. So I decided to add these three brackets along the uh, leading and trailing edges so I've got to, I've got to clean these spots up here. I don't know why I did them back here. I did not do them up here. I just kind of spaced it out. So I'm gonna get those cleaned and prepared and then I can go down there and get the panels finished up and then get a group of guys over here and get it hoisted up and get this finished and be done today. Okay, Just a quick look at the whole gathering here. Case arrow that we're working on right there too. Seeing some better days. We are Sunday, coming up on the last, the final week of the van build, 
and then Friday is clean up day from what I understand so um, I finally have my solar system installed and functional I just spent some time today getting the getting the wires up there you know tidied up and attached down um, I put some oh, what do you call it permabond tape over the Z brackets and that gives it UV and weather protection for the VHB tape that's holding the panels down um, just an extra added layer of security for that so I've got the six panels I don't have the ladder set up or I'd climb up there and show you but this morning because um, yesterday I didn't get the system up and running until the afternoon and so I went to bed sorry if the fan is making some noise here so I went to, to sleep and the system was my batteries were at 81 percent 82 percent so when I got up this morning I accidentally left the TV running and fell asleep last night which kept the inverter on anyways by the time I got up this morning and watched some TV and got up and going my batteries were at 51 percent so right so I shut the inverter off and stopped using any power this morning and then the Sun came up and I'm right now you can see I'm at 90 percent so from sunrise this morning till right now my batteries went from 51 percent to 90 percent and man is it dusty here um, so my system up there like right now from what I understand it's putting out 25.4 amps 60 volts 60.6 .6 volts I guess I don't truly understand all these numbers yet I will just hit 90 percent so I'm hoping uh, what time is it it is 225 so I believe I should get that last 10 percent and get up to a hundred percent by uh, sundown tonight which is what I want I want to see how much I'm depleting overnight and uh, then if the system is capable of so if it if it can take it from 51 percent back up to a hundred then I'm thinking on a 100% sundown night, I should be just fine. So I'm just rambling about it. Um, so I think I've decided I'm going to take my fan, and Chad and I are going to install it on down the road. It's just going to be um, logistically, you know, I'd have to move my truck from here on down to the fan crew, and then, you know, lefty. This is kind of his home base and he's actually chained to it and his water is here and all that so and it, you know putting the fan on here is going to be really simple um the only thing i have to take care of is in here you see that that gray that's a pad that runs the length of the ceiling and i'm sure it was for um head protection maybe also um, I don't know what's under it. I've never taken it down. I don't know if there's a wire run up there, or, but I don't think so. So anyways, obviously I'm going to have to cut that down at the end because that's where the fan is going to be. Kind of right between those last two dome lights you see down there. The fan is going to go right in the middle there. It'll be a 14 by 14 inch hole um, where the fan gets mounted. So plenty of room, but I've got to figure out how I can cut that pad and make it still look okay. I'm sure I get it figured out, but I've got to do that. And while I have that apart, that's where I'm going to actually run the wires for the fan up here and then right down into my power cabinet over there. You guys know that that's where all my DC electrical is. And while I'm in there I'm also gonna run power for this little fan here um, over here because right now this is just a temporary cord I've got draped across here and I hate it so I'm gonna bring a line out here and across and down to this fan because I do like having the fan by my window 
Uh, it's nice to bring in the cool air. So that's where we're at right now. It's, uh, like I said, about 2.30. Left these CS staying down here on the carpet. And got a couple more hours to go today and then we'll get cleaned up. Wait for tomorrow. All right, everybody.